In this online tutorial, I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can use ChatGPT to make your own digital product. This is going to be a step by step tutorial, so let's not waste any time. So first, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to pick our digital product. Now, something that I know that people have actually been struggling with is email marketing. It's something that I am absolutely terrible at, and I would say I'm quite the beginner at. So I would do uh, this first of all. So I would say write an outline for an ebook guide that helps beginners improve their how do i stop how do i stop this how do i stop that helps beginners improve their email marketing okay and essentially you just want to put this in now once you've done this okay it's going to give you every single piece of the campaign that you're going to need as you guys can see that right here it's giving us three different main parts in fact it's actually given us four so as you guys can see right here it's given us every single part of the email list that we're going to need and of course as you guys can see right here this is going to be something for um, you know, your ebook. So of course, if you want to create a digital ebook and you never before wanted to do all of the work, this is going to be something that gives it to you for free. Now, of course, as you guys can see right here, once we have this information, since this is going to be an ebook, we're going to need to take this and we're going to need to copy and paste this into Word. So essentially what we want to do now, let's head over to, and you guys can see that once I've pasted this in, this actually doesn't look that good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Okay. So that's a quick mistake that most people make. Go ahead, paste it into notepad. Then once you've pasted it into notepad, copy, then paste it again into to word and as you guys can see this is what we have right here so now you guys can see right here this is going to be an introduction of course you guys can see right here what we now need to do now is you now need to go to every point above and we're now going to need to put this in bold that way we know exactly what is the title so we have five different parts we've got the introduction you've got building an email list we've got creating effective email campaigns we've got measuring and advanced strategies we've got our conclusion there as well so this is of course what we're going to need if we're going to have our advanced guide now you want to go over here and you want to just put this underneath the bullet points so grab the three underneath put it under the bullet points just do that for every single point this will make your ebook look a lot better as you guys can see right here and then of course you want to then put this like that so add the bullet points and you just want to do this for every single one and once you've done that now we need to move on to the next step which is of course writing the introduction of the guide we head back over to chat tbt and then we say write an introduction an introduction to an ebook that helps beginners increase their email marketing skills. Okay. Um, make it 100 words only. I wanted it 100 words because I only wanted to be short. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to click enter. And then once this gives us the prompt, we're then going to paste this at the start of the ebook. Okay. As you guys can see right here, they've then written this introduction. So we're going to go ahead and grab this introduction from here. And then we're going to go ahead and paste it at the start of the ebook. Then once again, of course, we're going to go into notepad. We're going to paste it. And then we're just going to go paste it again. Then, of course, as you guys can see, we're just going to have that. Of course, you could even you could even cut this off. You could even put this like this. So you say this guide is designed for beginners, yada, yada, yada. And then I would say when you're formatting this, every other sentence, you want to just put it bold because it just looks better um, and it just looks a lot nicer so you want to have it like that um it's, it's completely up to you whichever point you want to use so um in fact that actually does look a bit too confusing so just have two paragraphs as you guys can see um let's just format it like this and so as you guys can see we've got our beginner guide introduction then of course we have the you know stuff right there and then of course now since you're one probably wondering okay how do i actually get the information how do i actually sell this ebook and how do i actually make money from this ebook so let's go ahead um and get this done so this is very very simple guys now from this you don't even need to use chat gpt all you need to do is simply just go from these and then for example there's two methods that you can use to do this okay number one you could do um you could do chat GPT or you could simply find articles and then rewrite them with an online AI writing tool. So as you guys can see right here, you could simply Google this if you want to. So you could simply Google this and you simply use this because this is a pretty standard definition. I'm sure that MailChimp wouldn't even mind that you're copying and pasting this or you could copy this. And then if you wanted to, you could paste it into this. Now, what this is, this is Quillbot. Essentially, what this is, this is a free AI rewriter. So what this does is uh, you can get software that paraphrases this and essentially it will rephrase the entire thing. So if you get this from a website or you get it from a certain blog, but you want it written in a different way, you can, of course, you guys can see, Re rewrite this in a certain way now you can use these different tools or you can just simply say okay what is email marketing and this will tell you and then you'll write that down so of course so of course now as you guys can see right here the important parts of this is say how do i collect people's email addresses okay now, it's important to note that when you're asking your questions for chat gpt it's important to provide as much information as possible so that the software can actually get the right 
answer and give you the right detail that you need. So for example, of course, we're doing an ebook. So I would say, and I would phrase this, okay, let me just put this on another tab. So I would phrase this. I am writing an ebook about how to help beginners increase their email marketing skills. The first point is about how to collect emails. Can you tell me effective methods of collecting emails? Okay. Um, and then, then you just put that prompt in. Um, sometimes understand that chat GPT also noticeably will be slow. This is simply because they are experiencing exceptionally high demand. Um, and you have to understand that while the software is three, I would recommend using it as much as possible simply because while it's free it means that you know you can definitely get the most out of it and if you don't use this while it's free when it does become paid it just means that a lot of the stuff that you need to use um is going to be behind a paywall maybe it might be a monthly subscription maybe it might even be like open ai's um other playground software where in fact you need to use certain credits if you want certain uh length and stuff like that so as you guys can see right here um these are several effective methods for collecting email addresses which include um as you guys can see right here so of course what i would do now of course, I would then go ahead and I would then go ahead and copy these, of course, and then I would go to the doc. So now, as you guys can see right here, I would say how to collect email addresses. Of course, since this is the thing, of course, now I would come to the actual ebook and I would say how to collect email addresses. Now, of course, when you're creating your ebook, um, of course, I need to, I forgot to actually go into Notepad. When you, when you're going to, into your ebook, you actually uh, you know, sometimes you can include images, but I do believe that you know, um, text is also good as well. But if you want to take it that extra step, you definitely want to include images. So essentially, what you just want to format it. So how to include collect email addresses? Here, we're going to go ahead and do bold. Then we're going to go ahead and here and do bold. Then we're going to go ahead here and do bold. As you guys can see right here, so we're just going to do bold on all of these until this looks really nice. Um, and then what we're also going to do as well is we're also going to make sure that there's no spaces in between these. Okay. So for each of these, you could simply do uh, a Google search for these. For example, you could do a website sign form up. Um, and then for example, you could just Google this. And then for example, you could grab one of these, e one of these images. So for example, I could grab this, then I could go into word and then I could go and paste this like this, as you guys can see right here. And then of course my ebook actually has images now, which actually helps the user. Um, and as you guys can see, it's actually starting to look really nice. And in fact, I didn't mean to, um, flip it that way i don't know why the image got flipped um in fact let me just paste that in again and as you guys can see yeah that looks pretty good so of course as you guys can see right here as i'm adding all of this and as i'm adding this ebook guys i'm literally able to um do this and of course what you want to do is just add a line um in fact you can in fact just do shift and then right next to the letter o there should be a button and then you click that button and of course as you guys can see this is what you get once you get that of course as you guys can see then of course we have the ebook introduction then of course as we come down we then have the information with images, which we literally just got from Google. And of course, as you guys can see, all you now need to do is you now need to simply just go ahead and just fill out every single part of this with chat GPT. So it might seem hard at first, but you have every single prompt. So we've got how to collect email addresses. Our next prompt would simply be uh, the best practices for collecting email addresses. Okay. Um, now these are kind of timed in, so I wouldn't actually do this. I would say how to segment your email list. So I'd copy this. I'd then go back to chat. And as you guys can see right here, I've simply said, I'm writing an ebook to help beginners increase their email marketing skills. Please help me with this topic, how to see segment your email list. Because I've got to be honest, guys, I genuinely don't even know what this means. Like the reason I chose this topic is because I am literally, if you asked me to do email marketing, I literally couldn't tell you what is what. That's why I chose this topic because I wanted to show you firsthand that even if you are a complete beginner in a certain topic, ChatGPT is able to show you exactly how you're able to do this. So as you guys can see right here, now it's actually giving me all of this information. And remember, guys, if you are creating an ebook or if you are using your chat GPT prompts, do not forget to use this, guys. Make sure you provide the, the context, okay? Because the context will help you vastly with your answer. So once this is done, okay, as you guys can see right here, um, we're just going to copy this. And then we're now going to go ahead. Oh, wow. I didn't mean to do So now we're going to go ahead and copy this. We're going to go ahead into notepad. We're then going to go ahead and hit paste. We're going to copy again. We're going to go ahead and go over to word. Then of course, we're going to go over to the second part, um, which is how, how to segment, segment email list. Now, something also interesting um, I've done here guys as well is I've made sure that this is going to be something for beginners because a lot of the information that chat, chat GPT actually has is beginner information. 
it isn't particularly detailed some of it on some topics is but um it isn't always there so as you guys can see right here um this is part of the thing um how to segment email list so we're going to go ahead we're going to go to order we're going to put that in the middle then underneath this we're going to add the line that we just did before so i'm going to add that line just like that and then now that that's done guys of course as you guys can see we're then going to go ahead and just add bold here and of course as you guys can see right here just add the spaces and this is something that is really really easy to do guys so as you guys can see right here i'm not going to go ahead through the whole book but in literally i'm not sure how long this video is but i think it's maybe five or eight minutes as you guys can see right here we've literally been able to write i mean 800 words in just a couple of seconds and using the software and lose using google we're literally going to be able to get a bunch of these images so i'm going to go ahead and get a bunch more images and i'm going to show you guys how good this is going to look so you literally just type in email pop-up examples and then, of course, as you guys can see right here, this is an email pop-up example. So let's go ahead, copy and paste this. Um, and let's go ahead on this, as you guys can see, pop-up. And then let's go ahead. Then I'm going to go ahead here, lead magnet examples. Then, of course, I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And then, of course, as you guys can see, lead magnet examples, simple guide. Um, let's go ahead and make these really smaller. Um, and there we go, social media. And, of course, uh, uh, okay, well, we're not going to do that. Referral program, yada, yada, yada. But, guys, if you were, you know, buying a product and you saw this and you were reading this and looking at these images and thinking, wow, I bought this guide. And let's say you sell this guide for $7. Let's say you only make a couple of sales a month, guys. You're definitely going to be making some easy passive income. Um, and this is something that is very, very easy to do. Now, once you've got all the text you save as, and when you save this file, you're going to want to save it as a PDF. Um, and you're going to want to make sure that the font and the design does look a bit nicer. So if you can, you can um, do some color schemes because um, some color schemes do look do look uh, a lot better than others. Um, there are many different themes that you can use, um, especially on Word. You can add some page borders. You can add stuff like that, um, which is going to just make it look like a, just 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 make it look a little bit better. So go on page border um, and just add a certain design if you want. Of course, as you guys can see, add a box, add a shadow. I would recommend just adding a standard line like I've just done right there. Of course, as you guys can see it, it just makes it look a bit better. Of course, as you guys can see right here, we're going to add bold on this part there we go and then of course at the top we're going to say email marketing guide beginners 2023 and then we're going to go ahead and just put bold like that of course you guys can see there we go and then of course for design of course the design the layout we can add some page borders so yeah, once this is done, you guys can see that now everything is looking a little bit better. Of course, if you want to make the font a little bit better, I would um, use a font that is really nice. Um, some are that some that are nice are in fact not that font, but um, Helvetica rounded. Nope, that not not that font. I'll show you guys the actual ones. So I've just changed this font to the Bandshrift Light font. Um, if you were wondering which font I used. Of course, as you guys can see, it's a very light font. It's very simple to use. Of course, with certain things, if you want to add a color scheme, you can. I would say that, you know, for example, let's say you wanted this to be green, add some green right there. Then, of course, on the introduction areas, just, you know, um, add some color right there, which is, of course, what you can do. And this is just, you know, making this actually look like a real ebook, guys. So now that this is done, of course, you've added your color scheme. Let's say yours is green. Um, you've gone down, you've done... Um, you know everything then of course as you guys can see right here you've added some images you've used chat gpt all you need to do now guys are two main steps guys and those two main steps are simply just to save this as a pdf and then create your what your um book cover so i've just finished saving this ebook and as you guys can see right here um, this is what it looks like. Um, it shows you this guide, yada, 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 email marketing guide. So when someone downloads your product, this is exactly what they're going to see. And guys, if I bought this guide off the internet, I would think that this person who ever made this product is definitely someone who knows what they're talking about. But guys, I promise you, I've never researched email marketing before today. That's why I chose this product. And as you guys can see, this is a lot of um, information. Now, once you have this ebook, all you're going to want to do as well, guys, even if you don't need to use ChatGPT for this, but just go over to this one. Go over to freepick.com and then type in ebook card on the main website then what you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to want to go ahead and find one that you think looks really nice so i'm going to be looking for a green one um one that's fairly simple um because it's email marketing so let me go ahead um and pick one that's green ebook cover let's just put green because i don't want to change any of the colors ebook cover green um okay let's not do that let's just type in ebook and then i'm going to find one that's green so i'm just going to see if i can see one that's green that one is a uh, nope Let's go overhead. Um, that's a book cover mock-up. Um, okay, so we could find um, something like something like this, which is fine. So then all we would need to do now is download this 
all we need to do now guys is download this template and then just simply edit that template once you've edited that template guys it's fairly simple and there's many different websites that you can use you can use canva but um yeah you guys have seen first hand that you can literally use this to create an ebook step by step guys so if you have any questions don't forget to leave them down in the comment section below this is fairly simple fairly easy i literally did this in like five minutes um and hopefully you guys enjoyed